do subscribe to ekeda channel and press bell icon to get updates about latest engineering hsc and iit je main and advanced videos hello students today we are studying chapter plant water relation and mineral nutrition in that we are studying topic why plant water relation is important for a plant imagine a situation if there is no water present for a plant what will happen all the metabolic processes all the cellular processes would stop that is the importance of water for a plant most of the herbaceous plants herbaceous plants means flowering plants fruiting plants have 90% water in them now this water is required for all the cellular activities metabolic activities the process of photosynthesis requires water we all know co2 plus h2o and then the process of photosynthesis continues even during endosmosis exosmosis plasmolysis the cellular process water is needed the uptake of iron is guarded by water molecules whenever there is a movement of something or there is food preparation during respiration the formation of atp water is needed and we all know atp is energy currency of the cell so that is how water is important beside that water provides a strong adhesive force when i say adhesive force it means a force that allow to stick and a cohesive force that help to transport minerals and nutrients from the soil to the plant that is basically water helps in the ascent of sap what is ascent of sap when i say sap it is a mixture of water and nutrients and when i say accent it is nothing but movement so movement of nutrients plus minerals plus water is guaranteed by the upward force of water water is universal solvent and that is why most of the plant reactions uses water even in day to day life we use water so minerals properly mix up into the water and can be transported by various other methods water is the medium through which the process of osmosis and diffusion takes place remember the definition of osmosis it is the movement from higher con lower concentration to higher concentration which is nothing but water movement and even during diffusion water helps in certain types of diffusion especially in transpiration and diffusions what is the importance of plant water relationship majority of the herbaceous plants have 80 to 90% water in them and water is needed for all the cellular activities whether it is photosynthesis or exchange of ions water provides strong cohesive forces and this cohesive forces helps in the transport of minerals plus nutrients
water helps in the transfer of accent of sap when i say sap it means dissolved minerals and when i say accent it means movement so for the movement of minerals inside a plant from the roots water helps in the transfer beside this water is a universal solvent so all the minerals whether it is potassium calcium magnesium molybdenum zinc which are present inside soil which are important for plant growth for the repair and wear and tear of the plant and whose deficiency can cause damage to plants are absorbed and mixed by water Besides this, the exchange of substances can take place with the help of water. Processes like osmosis, diffusion, imbibation are all dependent on water. Students, in this part of the chapter, we have studied about what and how water plays an important role in plant life. I hope you all are clear with this concept. Thank you.